All right, there it is, one day later, out of the egg, DPI Exanthic, super scaleless. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily on this Memorial Day 2023. Kids are home from school. Lots going on in the snake room. Good news, bad news. My super fire diamond boa. She delivered a clutch of slugs again. Three years, within the, three times within the last five years, and um, I have a feeling it's. I don't think I was kept blaming the male. I think this female just does not. She cannot produce fertile ova. I don't know what the problem is. It's uh, it's sad. It's a little sad, but it's part of the process. You know, we've gotten some really good boa litters this year, and so we have to take the good with the bad. Um, she slugged. I don't think I'm going to breed her anymore. I think I'm just going to. You know, keep her as a pet. I love her. She's a big, big girl, big, white, beautiful girl. And we're going to just keep her as a pet. Um, some things are just not meant to breed. I don't know. I just think something. I mean, I could try another male with her, but this is the second male I've tried. I don't think it's the male's fault. I think it's just, I just don't think that, um, I mean, maybe Super Fire Diamond. I don't know if any of you guys have to give me some feedback. Have you produced any babies from Super Fire Diamond females? I don't know. Maybe that's something we need to look into. All right, well, let's, on a better note, let's go look at some cool stuff. Kids join me for a few of the little videos today and uh, hope you have a great Memorial Day planned and you're gonna have some nice, peaceful time with your family and some nice food. Stay tuned. All right, I just wanna show you this because I had no, I, I really thought this, this female was gonna give us some babies. A nice litter of boas this year. We did see some uh, locks earlier in the year. This is my Superman and Belly Leopard, one of the prettiest boas I have in my collection. I bred her to a, a, an albino eclipse, and she's been eating like a fiend the last couple weeks that we fed her. I mean, she's been just nailing the prey. And then today I opened this tub, and I see that. Now that. To me, it looks like a waxy stool. Waxy stools are usually what the boas pass right before they give birth. I have no belief that this, this boa is really. I mean, if this, if we get a if we get a, a litter of boas from this baby, this girl, I'll be absolutely stupefied because I've never seen a boa right before she was going to give birth that ate like like she was ravenous. They, they usually just sit uncomfortably on the hot spot. They'll move around a little bit the cage sometimes, but never. But that looks like, that looks like a waxy stool to me. Um, I might not know what I'm looking at or I might not know what I'm talking about. It might not be, but I'm documenting it just in case I'm right. I hope, I pray that you gave birth this little man. That, what a great litter she would produce. All right, I've been checking this uh, Super Fire Diamond Boa every day because I knew she was close. I don't know what that is. That looks like a waxy stool with possibly a slug that came out of her. And I don't know what that little lump of crap is. <laughs> Something came out of her. Now sometimes, you know, a week or so before they're going to give birth, they'll even poop some babies out. So I don't know what's going on here. It looks like she pooped out a slug. That does look like a waxy stool, which usually comes before they give birth. So maybe when she squeezed out the waxy stool, some other junk came out. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna to try to pull it out, take a look at it. But I expect something to be delivered over the next, you know, five to seven days now. Hopefully it's just not more slugs. Hopefully it's, it's babies, but I have never gotten a clutch of live babies from this girl. Uh, I have terrible luck with super fire diamonds and fire diamonds. I'm praying, I pray every day that I'm going to see a clutch of, or I should say a litter of live babies. We'll see. So we're close, obviously. All right. So this is what I pulled out of her cage. It, uh, combination is the waxy stool that's all smeared over the paper towel and there's two disgusting slugs. It might even be three. So we'll see. I'm almost, they almost look like they might have been there from the year before, I don't know, but uh, 
the only thing that's bothering me is that there's three slugs. And I feel like three slugs indicate probably the whole clutch is going to be slugs. And I'm kind of disappointed by that. But I'm going to keep my hopes up. Uh, I'm going to try to stay positive and hopefully um, we'll see something nice. Interesting little combination lock here. Very small female. She's always been small. She's, she'll eat, but she's, she eats when she wants. Hurricane, lesser, black pastel, possibly yellow belly, I'm pretty sure. Have pied. Breeding her to a uh, orange dream. Actually, I think it's super orange dream. Freeway. Trying to produce some cool freeway combinations here with black pastel in it. And uh, I didn't think this girl was going to go. I, she still might not go, but we definitely have a lock here. Um, they were just covered. They were just locked, and I, I, I think they rolled over a little bit when I opened the cage up. But interesting, very interesting looking female. Black pastel, lesser together would do some crazy stuff. And hurricane in there makes it even wackier, so. I'm interested to see what we get. Surprise, early hatching here. This is my friend Chase Anderson pulls this clutch for me when I was uh, getting my uh, heart surgery about eight weeks ago. Ooh, this is a smoker. This came out really good, Chase. Um, this was a VPI Azanthic, okay, which is a, um, a recessive gene that removes yellows from ball pythons, and it was also scaleless head. So one copy of scaleless head. We know that when you get two copies of scaleless head, you get a scaleless animal. And the male was also a head clown. It was bred to a VPI azanthic scaleless head female. It was a possible head hypo, but irrelevant. And uh, we got, uh, got some nice babies here. These all look to be, obviously they, they all have to be VPI azanthic because um, both parents were VPI Xanthic, and they're really nice ones too. Wow, these are really, really, really clean looking VPI Xanthics, and I think that's because they're scaleless head. When you add the scaleless head gene to the VPI Xanthic, now we know scaleless head clears, really cleans things up, lightens stuff, brings, it gives it almost like a, almost like a 3D look to the, uh, pattern and everything and, and these these definitely remember these haven't even shed they just they just hatched these are all scaleless head i can see the scales missing so we got three vpi xanthic scaleless heads absolutely beautiful and then we have one egg still that hasn't hatched and when i peeked in there guess what i saw yep scaleless animal now is it alive i hope it is hopefully she's going to come out pretty big it pretty big one too so this is gonna be a VPI Xanthic scalus. And that's gonna be cool. That's the first time I've ever produced one of those. And man, does that look nice in there. Woo! Smoking. Good clutch. We finally hit it. VPI Xanthic scalus. And everything's possible heck clown. So that, that's also really good. So I have a, uh, I have a scalus clown project I'm working on so we can definitely get these guys possibly into that if, you know if they are head clown we won't really know I probably should test out the male who's um head clown and get him into uh that project as well but good clutch surprise hatched about a week early and pretty satisfied all right there it is one day later out of the egg as I predicted, <laughs> VPI Xanthic, super scaleless, or scaleless animal, no scales. This is a beauty. This is the nicest one I've ever produced. I love, you know what? All the scaleless animals have a, almost like an Xanthic look anyway. They kind of have like a grayish, when you take away like the scales, they, they kind of get like this, 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 as we call it, grayscale look to them. Now, an azanthic that has no yellow tones in it, you 
you take away all the scales and, and it's really, it's, it's breathtaking. I don't even know if the camera's capturing this well. These are regular VPI Xanthics. They're going to shed now. This is the scaleless form of it. Zero scales in this animal. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving, loving this animal. And this is probably the nicest scaleless animal I've produced. Still waiting to try to knock out an albino. I haven't hit one yet. Heat missing. And I've, I missed the pies. I've seen them. The pies look really nice. But I think this azanthic is amazing. Matter of fact, I think azanthic pies, azanthic clowns are going to be the way to go with the scaleless. Because I think, once again, when you take away the scales, you lose some of the color. And I think by doing an azanthic scaleless, you're good. that's the way to, to really move it. That's the right direction. Now that I'm seeing it in person, Absolutely, 100%. I think we have a litter being delivered. I just snuck into my snake room here in the dark. I don't know if these are, are those babies or are those slugs that she's delivering. Don't want to get bit. But I'm going to take a little peek. Yeah, she's... She's not liking what I'm touching. There's another one of my beautiful girls. Red dragon. She might actually be a sun dragon. And she's, I don't know if she's gonna be ready this year. I don't think so. I think we need another year with her, but she's beautiful. That's albino, call albino blood with the hypogene in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. She's changed so much. When she was first born, she was like really, really red. And now she's getting like, just like these whites and washes of red and orange. I don't know. She's still beautiful. Look at that head. That is a beautiful snake. One of the best combinations in boa breeding, I believe, blood and albino. All right, there's our Mexican black king snake. Shayla, do you like that guy? He's little, look at him shaking his tail. He's shaking his tail like a little rattlesnake. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? You're not afraid of this guy, right? Yeah, I'm not. Nah, they're nice. They're whoa oh. into the garbage bag. Yeah, into the garbage bag. Okay, bell. we don't want to scare him too much, so no, let's put him back in this cage. Yeah, That's not really his cage, but we'll get him back in in a second. Hold on, let's go. That's not really his cage. Yes, here's his cage. Beautiful. <laughs> My male, Please. blood red, yeah. hide sided. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. Hide sided corn snake is doing really well. He's growing, this guy. Look at that, all that white. He doesn't, yeah, he has some poopies. We had to clean his stuff, but. This is an albino blood red. And then you got the pied sided, the white, right? The white's on the side. Point to the white. You see the white? That's right. That's the pied sided. Beautiful. Beautiful little boy. All right, here's a really cool possible super sarp. Uh, super hypo, oh, sharp sun glow, uh, beautiful, beautiful little girl. This is also, she's got the blue line in her. She's looking, she has like a blue tint. She does not look like a normal albino by any means. Only one, only one parent was blue line, but she's got this like very different look from all the other albinos that I produced. I think all this is going to start coming in blue or at least it, it, it changing the, the hue of the whole snake. Ah. I, I... All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Man, it was a terrible day, and then we ended on a good note with that beautiful scaleless ball python, that VPIA Xanthic scaleless ball python. Uh, they may have been produced before, but that in, is the pinnacle of scaleless uh, ball pythons that I produced, at least. Absolutely gorgeous. And so put a big smile on my face. We, we had a nice little, we don't have a lot of bull python clutches this year. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that we're not going to get any. I think they're just going to come very late. I don't know why. I can't tell you. I know some other people tell me the same thing. Uh, we're having some, maybe some kooky weather here in Florida, some weird uh, barometric pressures or something, because I've never seen this in, in the history of being here the last seven years. I've never seen ball pythons come this late. Anyway, uh, Enjoy your day. Back to work tomorrow. We're all back to work tomorrow. And uh, I work every day, so it doesn't matter. But you guys are back to work tomorrow. So hopefully you guys have uh, 
had a nice weekend. Hopefully you guys are having great successes with your breeding programs yourself. Uh, if you want to see any specific videos, put them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Thank you.